Hi parents, I wanted to talk to you today about internet safety and how to protect our children in an online world. Starting with an analogy, Dave Ramsey says that money is amoral. It's not inherently good or bad. It's just little green pieces of paper with dead presidents on it. Rather, it's what someone does with the money that makes it good or bad. Similarly, technology and the internet are also amoral. They're neither good or bad, but rather tools to be used for good or bad. There are so many benefits to using the internet, and quite frankly, it's become an essential component of today's society. But there are many issues parents should be concerned about as well. Violence, mental health, cyberbullying, drugs and alcohol, self-harm and suicide, sexual content are all subjects children are exposed to when left with an unsupervised device. These topics can be very difficult to discuss and easy to overlook. And since we can't separate kids from the internet forever, they have to be addressed. According to the Pew Research Center, 59% of teens say they've been the target of cyberbullying, with name calling and rumor spreading being the most common forms of harassment. And according to Bark, an app for parents that monitors social media and text messages, 71% of tweens and 84% of teens have encountered nudity or content of sexual nature online. As a parent myself, that's terrifying. But the worst thing we can do is put our head in the sand. And there are endless resources available with tips for adults learning how to parent in this digital world. Some of the most common tips include talk to your kids and be transparent about your own use of the Internet. Use an app such as Bark to manage and filter their online time. Check their list of friends or followers to make sure that they're legitimate and trustworthy. Let them know they can come to you if they have a problem. Watch for red flags, such as switching screens when you walk by, becoming more emotional, and using sexual language that isn't age appropriate. Enforce healthy digital habits at an early age. Enforce digital curfews. Put a family charging station in the parent's bedroom, not the kitchen or the living room where kids could sneak to use the device. Don't let kids take devices to their bedroom. Model healthy habits with your own device and expect resistance. To conclude, the stakes are high with social media and minors. Albeit uncharted territory, there are some common sense measures parents can take that will protect and teach our children about the good, the bad, and the ugly online. Ultimately, the goal is to raise responsible adults who are competent in using technology instead of falling victim to being used by technology.